How's it going, everybody? Poser Mobile here, bring you another absolute banger of a platinum. Today we've got double shot gals from Gamazumi, and you're looking at five bucks on the PlayStation Store with cross buy and four total stacks. So this is like a weird Tetris puzzle shooter. I don't really know how to describe it, but I had an all right to good time playing it. Trophy wise, it's just beat the game and it's a linear story mode. So you're just going to be going stage to stage until you've got the platinum. You'll start out with Asuka here, and this is essentially the learn the controls stages. All right, so if something has a color to it, either red or blue, you have to match it with the correct colored shot red for square, blue for cross or you'll get another row of stuff to spawn and push down towards you. If the stuff reaches the section that your ship is in, it's game over and you have to restart the stage. The gems are what fills up the bars in the bottom left and bottom right of the screen, and you have to fill both of those up completely to move on to the next stage. You'll know when they're complete because the picture on that side of the screen will change. You've got Mario bricks that you can break with two shots of any color. You've got Zelda rupees that take one shot of the corresponding color. Then these diamond things, which take two shots. And then these blue sapphire looking things from World of Warcraft, which take three shots. And those are how you get your points. There's also gold coins and food items, though I don't think there's any reason to get those aside from just not letting them get to the bottom. Bombs do exactly what you think they'll do and detonate an area of stuff around them, which I fail to predict every single time. Finally, there's these colored orbs with swirls on them. When you hit these with the corresponding color, they'll randomize the entire screen. So, once you get through the first stage with Asuka, you'll move right into the second. Once you finish that, you'll have some dialogue, which you can skip by pressing start, and then you can move on to Miss Devil. She doesn't introduce any new mechanics, so go ahead and get through her to get to Janet. Janet introduces two cannons at the top of the screen, which will fire down at you. If you get hit, a row of stuff will spawn, so do your best to not get hit. Her second stage is much the same, aside from an added third cannon in the middle at the top of the screen, which fires a staggered shot alongside the other two. Moving on to the fourth girl, Kanga, and what I felt was by far the most difficult set of stages in the game. Her gimmick is that you can't shoot anything past the road directly on top of your ship. You have to think and act fast because suddenly the timer that controls the row spawning is way more important. It took me a few tries to get through her stages, and the strat that worked for me was to prioritize colored gems, then bombs, then everything else aside from the swirls, and leave the swirls for last. When you use those, it doesn't slow down or stop the spawn timer, so you have to wait that extra second for things to switch over, and then changing whatever route you planned on taking. Finally, you'll reach the last boss, Vex. It's back to basics with her stages, aside from these green diamond things. You can shoot them with either color, but when you do, it's going to shoot something back at you. And if you get hit, it'll spawn a new row at the top. So do your best to take a shot towards them and move into the next lane. Once you finish her two stages, you'll get a bunch of dialogue after, during which the final trophy end will pop, followed by the platinum. This took me about an hour or so to get, but I really struggled for a while on Kanga, so it's entirely possible you'll get this done way before then if you're better at these kinds of games than I am. That'll do it for me though, everybody. If you plan on getting this one, leave a like, subscribe for more, and comment down below which number platinum this was for you. It was number 866 for me.